Doodle bop bop, doodle doo boop, doodle doo doo, ride my bike up, doodle doo boop bop. User down. Which one of these guys is going? We're putting this one with you. This one's, <laughs> he's gonna. No, no Mexicans will mess with you with this big, huge dog. Right next to you. <laughs> All right, Chunky, let's go, Chunky. buddy. So you might be wondering why I'm sitting in a car, not riding a bike. Well, my buddy Rich here thought it'd be a good idea to drive me through the madness of Tijuana right. ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and take me down to his Baja surf camp for the night, and then I'll start riding, right? Right, we just didn't want you to have an acid bath on the way down. We figured we'd get past that. <laughs> yeah, Chunky, you ready for Mexico, buddy? You ready for Mexico? There it is, old Mexico. Simon. Simon. Even the radio goes into Mexican music. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Richie! There, there's your flag right there. You gotta get yourself Adios, Oh, yeah. Mi Mexico lindo. <laughs> mañana, <laughs> mañana me iré. Me iré mañana. Adios, adios. Mexico querido. Querido. Yo nunca olvidarte. We're, I was thinking about having you ride along the river here, but it's loaded with all these guys here and they're all doing heroin. It's like really crazy. If you watch them, they're sticking needles in their arms. So there's really no place for your bike here. And then I was thinking maybe you go through Tijuana, which is, as you know, is quite the adventure. There's a lot of good people there, but finding your way through Tijuana is absolutely difficult. I've been doing it for 20 years. I would still get lost. So Doozer's at least a week in Tijuana. So we're avoiding at least a week delay by going far to my camp. Yeah, and we're going to paradise. Right. <laughs> So here we are listening to Padres baseball. Padres that's what baseball. that's what Richie loves. We've got a fire. We're at the Casa de Richie drinking Pizza Port beer. Beer and uh, life is beautiful, right? Mapping out the trip. We're mapping it out. Navigating. Which way do I go, Richie? South. Highway one. <laughs> Pedal. <laughs> You'll be fine. Rockies won the game two one. They keep on keeping doing that. Do you want me to ride with you all the way <laughs> down to? Cabo on my cruiser. I would. Tell me about this bike. Well, this bike came from uh, a girl named Johnny, and she was a dominatrix. And uh, this bike was down in her basement. She used to tie people up for a living. But she didn't need the bike for that, so she gave it to me. <laughs> so before I get started on the highways, we're going to cruise around camp on our cruiser bikes. This place is rad, like nothing you've ever seen in your life. Look at all these awesome places. These are some beautiful bicycles. And as you can hear, we're at the beach. What is that? What is that? Where are we now on the tour? This is uh, the guys from Dogtown. Uh, a guy named John John. This is their half hype. Sweet. The younger brother for the lead singer for the Suicidal Tendencies. And his buddy. And then over here? That's Ray and Yolanda's house. Uh, it used to be Judd's house. Cool pad in there. Look at this place. Uh, the yellow house, my buddy Scooter. He's a really good surfer, straight up and down surfer. So are there any rules in this camp to making things funky looking? Uh, no. Aerial view of the metropolis. All right, now our tour is taking us to Groucho's house. She's making us breakfast. Groucho's makes the best breakfast in camp. Really? Oh yeah. Well, uh, or she just does. Maybe <laughs> she's, just, <laughs> she's, she's the only one that makes breakfast. Right. <laughs> that wakes up in time for breakfast. Therefore, it's the best. It's a coffee can with uh, coat hangers, <laughs> and it works as a toaster. It's a Mexican toaster. I love it, dude. So Groucho, thank you very much for breakfast. You're more than welcome anytime. On your way back, maybe. Yeah, I'll come. Yeah, I'm flying back. I'm flying back. Oh, that's okay. All right, we're coming up on Richie's house now. There we go, it's the big orange one. Good morning there, I'm actually back in the car. Richie's gonna take me through Ensenada, and then what? We're gonna go to the Gigante, put you on Highway 1, and you're on your own. 
You're on your great adventure. All right. Richie, you're a savior, dude. You're the best. Right on, dude. Appreciate Enjoy it, man. Trip. Very excited for you, bro. I'm excited, excited too. And look, you'll notice that I put the Mexican flag on already. My propeller is spinning. Already ready to go. It's ready to go. It needs to go on my head. All right, here I go. Cabo San Lucas, here I come. Only 1,000 miles away. Only one way to go to get to Cabo San Lucas. That's south. Following this road the whole way. Going to navigate a little traffic here in Ensenada, but man, it feels good to be back in Mexico. I love this place. Woo! Viva Mexico! I don't know why everyone was saying the roads were horrible in Baja. These are perfect. They couldn't be better than this. <laughs> uh, I'm about 30 miles south of Ensenada now, and as you can see, it's mostly desierto. And I assume this is what I'm going to see for the next 970 miles. I have no idea where I'm going to go tonight, but I know it's going to be good wherever I go. That's all part of the adventure. Who knows? Am I going to camp? Am I going to hotel? Am I going to get abducted by aliens? These are all questions I have every day. All right, so I was riding and riding, not seeing a place to camp, and then I went through this little town called Kamalu, and they had a cheap hotel, and taco stands all over the street. So now, here I am. That's what you love about Mexico. They drive around and they sell you stuff. That guy's probably selling propane or fruits. Anyway, this is my hotel room. It's actually not bad for 20 bucks. I'll give you a quick tour. Here's a beautiful little colonial painting here. Here's my shower. Not only does it have one door, but it also has that door on this side. I just used it. It wasn't warm. It was pretty cold, but what can you expect for 20 bucks? And this is, uh, this is my little bathroom here. And it's nice and clean. This is the view I have, which is just an outstanding view of a field. Got some bars on the window, that's good. And, uh, yeah. Hello. Look at these tan lines, by the way. Yes. That is a great tan line. I look like an Oreo cookie. That's pretty rad. All right. Continuing on, I have some wonderful fake, fake flowers here. Free water. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and by the way, this place is called Hotel. California. That's right. And look at that, a flat screen TV. All for $20. Now let's go on the street and find some tacos. Buenas tardes. <laughs> Como están? So here I am in Kamalu. It's a nice little highway town. Before today, I had no idea Kamalu existed, but here it is. Check it out, Tacos El Tata. I'll take some tatas, but not any tacos. These are asada and they tripa. Tripa means intestine. I'll pass on those tacos. So I found a nice little place outside here. It's really cozy, it's really warm, which makes me happy. And uh, they have tortas and all sorts of Mexican things. And you know, I, I'm usually a vegetarian. I tried to eat vegetarian and I asked if they could make something with beans and cheese inside of a tortilla, like a burrito. And then he's like, nah, they don't really do that. But what they did make me was some, is some awesome quesadillas with vegetables and aguacate and then a side of papas very good and this is my favorite drink in mexico i haven't had it in a long time mirinda it feels so good to be back here south of the border it's been a beautiful day one in mexico cheers